Hey guys, today's tutorial is about artboards. So what they are, how they work and so on inside Affinity Designer version 2. And first of all to say, there are two possible um, ways to start using artboards inside Affinity Designer. So the first one is by simply creating a new document. So you can go to file, you can click on new or you can use the shortcut you find next to it. And then you have the possibility to select create artboard in the layout tab of your document creation. And by ticking this box and clicking create, you see you're creating a little artboard. It's um, named artboard one. And you also have the possibility if you haven't selected um, create artboard um, when creating your document, your document should have a dark background. So you see this is brighter than the normal background and should look something like this. And um, in that um, in that normal document, you can use the artboard tool you find right here to um, start um, using artboards by simply going right here and selecting how big your artboard should be. By selecting the previous document, you have your first artboard right here. And you can then use um, your artboard and to um, have the snapping, you need to activate snapping. These are my settings. And before we start with the next steps, it is important to answer the question, what are artboards? So artboards are design areas in your document that can have different size and can be exported separately. So um, you can, for example, have multiple artboards in one document for example different designs and variations for one project and you're only using one single document and you can export each of this design as a separate png image for example so that's what makes artboards very powerful and useful and important to know and to use them you also need to understand how they work in their basics, in their simple terms. So in simple terms, artboards work like groups and can also be used to mask. I will show this um, real quick after um, these few words and you can also arrange them in your document and you find them in your layers tab. So we have artboards in this document right here, as you can see every design right here, every design area is a single artboard. And as said, you find those artboards, which are called like you see above and right here in the layers tab are in the layers tab and working like a group. So we have, how do they work as an artboard? And you see, we can make it um, smaller or um, bigger to see what's inside. And then we can simply um, drop down different objects and so on inside this artboard and we can move them all together with this artboard and also resize um, the artboard like this. We're going one step back. So simply like a group, you know, from Affinity Designer. And to mask, I have prepared this little image right here. So we are simply um, selecting this image copying this image and pasting right here, for example, where we have an artboard and we have it now outside of our artboard. So in our um, whole document, and you can see we now have the image above our artboard right here. And if we now drop down the image inside our artboard, so like this, we are using our artboard as masking layer. So we're masking and we're only seeing the parts of our image which are inside the artboard and not what's outside. So that's how you can use an artboard to mask as you can use any other shape or um, created um, form or something like this in Affinity Designer. And if you now want to rename your artboard as seen right here, I have um, renamed them to thumbnail, what are artboards and so on. You have um, two possibilities. The first one is by double clicking right here, which is a new feature um, from Affinity Designer version 2.1. So if you're not on version 2.1, you won't be able to do this. So simply double click and you can change the name to Planet, for example, and you can um, click rename. 
or you can go to the layers tab double click like you can do with any other object in the layers tab and can rename it right here for example um, example and you will see that the name also changes inside your document and if you want to resize your artboard um, you've already seen that you can simply select the artboard and you can make it bigger or you can hold down shift to keep the proportions as you know from other um, forms shapes inside affinity designer or groups or you can use transform right here to select for example 1000 right here 1000 right here and if you tick this right here you have the same like holding down shift so you keep the proportions so if we set this one up to 2000 you will see it will also change this one to 2000 clicking enter and we have resized our artboard and you can also simply create a new artboard by going to the artboard tool right here and simply creating like this and like this to have multiple artboards you can then select them move them in the layers tab or move them in your document with the move tool right here of course and you can resize or you can um, use transform right here to resize for example like this like we already did before and you also have the possibility to duplicate an artboard so for example if you want to duplicate example we can simply use the, uh, um, the shortcut command and j or um, control and j if you're a windows user you see we have now two artboards and we can zoom out and move this one to this place if you want to and snapping also works with artboards so if you're selecting those two artboards we can move it right here and can then use shift and arrow keys for example to move it to the right to with 100 pixels so each um, shift and arrow key step is 10 pixels if you have pixels as unit of your document and if you have an artboard with an object inside for example this one with this planet and you want to delete this um, artboard so for example go right here and clicking delete um, you will be asked if you want to keep the objects or you also want to delete them so we can now keep them or also delete them if you keep them we have them in our document but not inside an artboard so we can now again use an artboard to uh, mask you see it normally normally automatically um, um, snaps inside the artboard so um, automatically masks your image or your object with the artboard but you can move it outside to have it outside if you want to so that way it is not masked by your artboard and yeah that's going to do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye